Well, the aftermath of the Nikki and Cardi beef, well, <laughs> Flex weighs in, of course. Flex, always been critical of Cardi B not writing her own rhymes. Rightfully so, okay? Not only does she not write her own rhymes, the whole song is constructed for her. And she just comes in and, you know, lays over what was already laid. And a lot of, a lot of people that actually, like, put work in and, you know, make the art, have a problem with that because you know they they struggle with coming up with new concepts and everything and to have somebody come in and do a cookie cutter thing where you just come in and say what's been said you know it's almost like someone else writing a speech for you and saying the speech how it should be said and then you say the speech and it's not coming from the heart you know music's supposed to be from the heart so uh funk Floss says news flash nikki versus cardi all this pen writing talk is making my ears tingle cardi we gonna get a hot 16 on the subject or you doing a Drake and gonna tuck it, asking for a friend. <laughs> he always includes Drake in that conversation. I think Drake writes most of his own stuff. I think he has had help though. Uh, you know, come on, if you're cranking out that many hits, you're gonna get a little help. Little Yachty uh, tried to cash in on this whole uh, beef thing t as well. Uh, he He's on uh, the new show, uh, with Rack Rants, okay? And she said, asked him about, you know, would you do music with Nicki Minaj? He says, his loyalty lies with Cardi B because of QC. And it's like, dude, first of all, you're not as hot as you used to be. And that's fine. Little Yachty's, hey, he did a lot in a short amount of time. Should have enough money to even retire at this point. I'm sure he has like $20 million, you know? But uh, to weigh in on this, you shouldn't get involved in something like this. You just leave it alone. And, you know, it's like you're not at that point in your career where it would be so beneficial to do a song with you. You know, it's it's, it's a little later. Your, your career is matured. You might peak again. All you need is one hit. But right now, it's not the time to be cocky like that. You know, like where it would add some something into the mix. Uh, then lastly, I think we got one more part of this. Steve Madden weighed in because uh, Steve Madden, uh, Nikki, when uh, Cardi said, oh, that Diesel deal, that was offered to me first. Um, Nikki responded with, oh, well, you know, that, that, whole, uh, <laughs> that whole Steve Madden deal was offered to me first. Um, and then Steve Madden said, oh, this is lies. Don't think about, don't talk about things that, uh, you know, weren't offered to you. I don't think Nikki's gonna respond to that. Steve Madden's not that popping anymore anyways. Used to be popping, but it's not anymore anyways. But anyways, guys, Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And I'll check you guys in the next video. I appreciate you guys. And when the news breaks, we fix it here at JT News. Hit that notification bell.